So, we're back. And I have unfortunate yeah. news for you, Drizzle. Oh, fuck. The audio of the last two episodes were not recording. Oh, hey. Oh, well, I didn't say anything funny. That's, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just do, like, a Dragon Ball Z announcer, like... Previously on Daggerfall Z. Our heroes went to the dungeon that Gortwog told them about and retrieved the Emperor's letter before returning to Daggerfall. But as they were wanted in Daggerfall for several counts of vehicular manslaughter, they made their way to Sentinel instead to see their good friend Tyler. After spending the night in the city, Mark was contacted by agents of the Underking to arrange a meeting. The agents wanted us to steal something from our other good friend, the Red Wizard Manamarco, in exchange for some information. So Mark did, and the Red Wizard didn't really care, because... Look at him. I should probably drop all this yeah. shit off. Uh, the last two episodes weren't great either, so who cares? Mm -hmm. It should be like um, a, a two-minute wrap-up of, of everything that happened, everything they missed. Yeah. Um, but in other news, uh, this episode, I'm thinking that I'll probably go over... Uh, okay, so first off, did you know... That the FBI declassified, and I don't know if this is recently or not, but they had uh, documents from Nikola Tesla after he died that uh. had, were plans and diagrams for a death ray <laughs> and technology for wireless and electrical energy transmission. Well, um, it's funny that you should mention that. Because I was actually talking with about Tesla with someone. Tesla's wireless energy idea has already been realized. He was just wrong about it being energy. Uh, it, it was the realization of, of Tesla's wireless energy is like radio waves and shit like that. Yeah, wireless, but we also can do wireless energy now. Yeah, but it's not like you can't move that kind of energy over long distances like wireless charge oh yeah no you can't you, you literally need to be like right next to the thing mm -hmm. it's, it's honestly slow as fuck so it's not really worth it although i yeah, can see it, this is not a case what i'm trying to say is this is not a case where the government is hiding fucking universal free wi-fi from the entire country as part of some conspiracy it's just not feasible <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I just wanted to go over the plans for the death ray on this video. Oh yeah, go ahead, because I don't know about the death ray. <laughs> I'm not familiar with such. Um, I am trying to find it. Bro, stop breaking my fucking orc shield. Why do they... <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a piece of armor, so sure, I get, I get how it happens. How much fucking yeah. gold do I have on me? Only 10k. I don't know how much that, that weighs. Which, I can't find the actual diagram for the death ray, so I don't think that they actually released. Oh, hey. I found our first piece of Daedric. Nice! But of course, we cannot equip it over the leather gearist that is the drip. Okay. So I see now. They didn't actually release the, um, plan, the actual plans and diagrams. They released the thing saying that they had gone and gotten it. That's all that they did. Mm. So they... Is that how they killed JFK? Dude, I would fucking... Dude, that'd be so cool. They just, like, fucking pulled out a death ray and went... <laughs> like, that'd be a whole other story, just like... Yes, well, Lee Harvey Oswald equipped with a gigantic <laughs> magnifying glass. 
melted JFK and the rest of his family in their car, burning down Texas today. And someone's gonna ask, <laughs> yeah. ask RNG, when will you play JFK Reloaded? What? <laughs> you don't know about JFK Reloaded. What do you, I know about the fucking... I actually can't talk about that on this channel, I just realized, so never mind. You know about the truth of the of the disappearing bullet? No comment. You mean the magic bullet? Mm-hmm. Uh, but JFK Reloaded is a... A, a shooting simulation game where you get you get scores for accurately recreating uh, the, the the shooting of, of John F. Kennedy. That seems interesting and probably really harrowing for... Never mind. Just realize the Kennedy estate is kind of dead, isn't it? <laughs> a little uh, bit. So there's not really anybody to get mad about it, is there? That's true. But, um, I mean, part of it was like, it was meant to be like, if someone could recreate it perfectly, they would like reward them because they were like, then by playing our shitty simulation video game that isn't at all accurate to real world physics, you know, you proved, you proved that he actually was assassinated this way. But like, as time went on, they like patched in like, because you know how there was like the, the competing theories of like uh he was in the apartment building and then there was the grassy knoll theory where he was or and the two shooters theory and like all these things over time they patched in the different like different theories that had arisen so that way like it, it you know if one of them was correct someone could theoretically get a perfect score yeah a really fucking weird project that's cool shit though and then in the other, so that one is, while there is, of course, controversy about it, that one's a little bit tamer compared to some other uh, games that have been made about, about, like, assassinations and tragedies and shit. Because uh, that one, like, the purpose of it is they're, like, trying to prove or disprove yeah. how he died. But then you have a video game like Super Columbine RPG. Damn it, that was the one that was taught. <laughs> and yeah, no, that one's so fucked, dude. And and that one is a very different take on. Uh, no, I feel it's somewhat so, bad. Uh, it's a very it, different controversy game. Yeah, and I've I've seen it, dude. It's like, it's so distasteful. Mm -hmm. Just like. There's really no reason that you need that. I don't know. I feel somewhat bad. It's all this talking about Super Columbine RPG. Were there any 9-11 games? Oh, so many. Literally, I remember on like a... On a... Sorry, I just remember my parents asked me to quiet it down. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, I'm living with my parents because I need to return their cowboy some stuff for a cowboy Halloween outfit I got mm. uh, recently. I looked pretty spiffy in the cowboy outfit too, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, probably, but yeah. Probably looked like a, a regular, old, regular old John Wayne. Yeah, you know, something like that. What the fuck? Ah! Uh, uh, gentle fall. Oh, shit. <laughs> you feel somewhat bad. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a shade. <laughs> but it was just... It was just a lever. Damn, dude. Um, um, what was I talking about again? Uh... Uh... Oh, uh, I'm a bad friend. Um, oh, 9-11 games. 9-11 right? games. Oh, uh, yeah, no. There was this one, um... Sleepy Cast. Which was done by the... You know, like a bunch of old new ground animators. Yeah, they were, it's like an animators thing. 
bunch of old yeah but one of the people that they brought on talked about how like his way of coping with 9-11 was like making like a star um a oh, god it's the rts game the my blizzard starcraft starcraft like custom map that reenacted like 9-11 <laughs> what? Yeah, no. I'll, I'll link you to the episode, even like the specific part, I think. Well, let me just find it real quickly. All right, here we are. They really be really be fighting down in here. Yeah. Oh, hello, vampire. Oh shit. Actually, fucking me up. Damn, dude, fucking. Vampires, bro. Khajiit suit. That's me. I what? am a Khajiit. Nice. Do I go further down? I'll find out. Hey. This is going to take us at least two episodes to find out. <laughs> That's going to suck. Maybe. Is this gonna be? Is there gonna be a lever on the wall? And then, yep. Well, there wasn't a lever on the wall, but it was that. It was that thing where they just all, ah, come out and gang up on me. Whoa! Ooh, spooky! What happened? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, they're fighting. Who do you think's gonna win? Well, the orc won. Yeah, did you hear about the one um, after world situation? The what? Uh, it's like a concert, Astro World. Oh, I have I I know something happened, but I don't know what. Uh, so basically, somehow I, I'm not 100 percent sure about the specifics, mm -hmm. but like just a bunch of shit like went wrong due to like the sheer amount of people that were there. Like, and everything like that. Yeah, but, like, people were so compact up. Like, people, there just wasn't enough space for everybody there. That it ended up in people just getting trampled. Like, um, suffocating because there's so many people, like, closed into one space. Mm -hmm. Um, but it ended in, uh, eight people dead so far. 300 injured and like Jeez. eight people hospitalized so far. Normies need to learn how to how to fucking mosh, bro. Jesus Christ. Oddly enough, I have moshed before. Hey. Uh, I have been in a mosh pit, yeah. Dajic Battle Axe, okay. Hey, hello. There's probably like a lever yeah. I gotta hit. It was pretty interesting too. It was like a black metal uh, mosh pit too, so it was actually pretty hardcore. Yeah, and the, I, <clears throat> what do you call it? Like, I actually I I realized without realizing it that I did in fact talk about what happened a little bit because we were talking about <laughs> me and another friend. We were talking about like how there there is one hundred percent an etiquette in mosh pits, despite what most people might think. Yeah, no, there's, like, without a damn etiquette. Like, what? And, yeah, but, like, like <clears throat> that's that's what I'm saying. Like, these normies, they just, 
they didn't know the etiquette. No, like if you if you see someone on the fall, ground, yeah, people help you, you up because they're like, up. oh shit, like you can really get hurt. Yeah, no. Plus, like every single band that actually knows how to have a mosh pit knows, like to say, like at the beginning, like, hey guys. We're going to get a mush pit in the center, but make sure if anybody falls, you pick them up mm -hmm. and give them a pat on the back. And if anybody wants to leave, let them leave. I remember my friend was saying she went to this one concert and like, yeah, she fell. And then these like two like, like heavier set, like biker looking guys picked her up, made sure she was fine. She was like 14 at the time. And then, like, some other girl, some, like, dude went and tried to, like, lift up her shirt and, like, grope at her. And <laughs> and she said that they just, those two just went over and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> just dude. right then and there. Like, I swear to God, some bikers are, like, extremely cool people. They're just, they're just there. They want to have a good time, you know? Yeah, and no. they don't want other people to have a bad time. What are you doing? The fucking, I'm trying to punch this door down because I can't figure out how to get through it. Why don't we know. just use our big fireball spell? Nah, I got a, I got a, <laughs> got another solution. Whoa, that's crazy! Oh no! Uh, Roid Rage. What is he trying to do with his hands there? <laughs> He's just like, eh. And I just realized nobody can see what I'm doing with my hands, so... Ah, uh, classic. Uh, like, she's just doing, like, the, like, you know, every actor trying to portray, like, a valley girl fighting, like, mm -hmm. thing. Get fucked, Gargoyle. Man, you may, really you may be made of up. stone, but these hands are made of steel, buddy. Buddy, I just spent the last five hours hitting a wall. <laughs> you think <laughs> stone ugly. means shit to me? <laughs> I've been preparing for this. What's Maybe that? it's the huge Fire thing in the center. Is. Okay. Well, that's what I need. I'm just seeing if there's any, any pieces of loot that I really want, you know? We got it. We're free to go. So that's where we came in through. Alright, I guess there's nothing there. But yeah, it's like... Those, those old... Those, like, metal old heads... They probably got the beard... You know, yeah, they're, know, they're probably like a couple bush lights deep when you, when you, when you meet them. But they're they're like gentle giants at, at yeah, the metal concert. Yeah, because they get it all out and like you know like the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or something like that. I don't know. And it's always the fucking lanky, skinny ass, white teen dude. That's the one you got to worry about. Much like in real life. Yeah. Fear me, motherfuckers. <laughs> Much like in real life, the one you should fear. Because that's the guy who knows magic tricks. And if you start talking to that fucker, he's never going to shut up about his magic tricks. Oh, I was, uh, if by magic tricks you mean, uh, a concealed 38 special, then, uh, <laughs> that's what I was oh, saying. Oh, no, I was talking about actual magic tricks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was trying to move it away from that. You know? <laughs> All right, let's. Hmm, we've talked about this shit before. Like... On Terraria, <laughs> even. Hey guys, check out our Terraria series, which might be the best series we've done mm -hmm. to date. I think. And it I might never it continue, but that's fine. It served its purpose well. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, uh, the one um, League of Legends show came out. Oh, Arcane. Yeah. I hope it's bad. There's I'm no shot. Lie. There's no shot it's bad. Oh, so did High Guardian Spice. That came out. I, I want to see that. that is. 
That's that one uh, Crunchyroll original that they announced uh -huh. like five years ago and only like just came out not too long ago. Wait, it just came out? I yeah. thought it's been out for like a while. No. Jeez. It's like within like the past, I don't know how many months, within the past number of months though. All right. Unfortunately, I do have to read this letter again. The Hearthford, the Wailing Seer of RK in Sentinel. Okay. The Infinite Seer of RK. Nah, we want the Wailing one. Speaking of Infinite, Halo Infinite's coming out pretty soon. It's Isn't it's it in uh. December? I think it's uh, this month is what they, I think they moved it forward. Damn, it's apparently really good. It's gamer season. Yeah. It should be coming out. Call of Duty came out. It sure is Call of Duty. Yep. But apparently the arcane thing is actually really good. Okay. So far from what I've read. Well done, Mark. Let me cast this spell upon the scarab. There. The scarab is now safe and yours to keep. Oh, okay. Cool. Not even death can hide a true descendant of Tiber Septum from the Underking. Uh, King Lysandus did not die in the battle of Cringe Game. Cringe Game. Cringe Game. Cringe game. Cringe he was game. slain by treachery before it. The moment the monument to him in, Ma in Hammerfell is an empty tomb. His remains were secretly taken to an ancient tomb in Menivia. Uh, that's, yeah, we'll go with that. That's the pronunciation, which I will now reveal to you. I do not know who betrayed Lysandus, nor why his spirit haunts the city of Daggerfall, and not the Battle of Cringegain. I have kept my part of the bargain, and you have earned the gratitude of the Underking, who we're going to talk to and will not have, or we will not have gratitude from because he will be uh, you know, he'll be mad that he hasn't gotten his bath water. This is weird. Um, Scarab of Wildfire. Don't we have another? Yeah, Bell of Wildfire. Well, whatever. Okay, so about the Arcane show. Apparently, it, there is uh -huh. currently a um, crossover between it and. PUBG Mobile. Oh, yeah, thing. yeah, because you can get the Jinx uh, Fortnite skin. Yeah, mm -hmm. but also PUBG Mobile. <laughs> yeah, it's very important, the mobile part. And um, Empty Beauty, which was done by Viana, is also a part of it. Like, it's a beauty line. I, I don't get this shit anymore, dude. Huh, interesting. All right, viewers, we're at Lysandus' tomb now, where we will continue next time. Damn. He got the fucking... Minecraft house. He got the t the Titan's Tower, but chode for him. <laughs> the Titan's chode. What the hell? What's a Khajiit doing here? I hope your armor has a good resale value. I hate to kill you for only a few coins. Oh yeah, bitch? Huh? Huh? You're about to get fucking lobotomized. Spell was absorbed. No, he's too he's too smart. I think we absorbed the spell. Yeah, but it did take more than one. Thief was an idiot. The other thief was an idiot. This dude was the smartest. This uh, dead person, probably a warrior. Anyways, you can almost see up his skirt. Next time. Yeah. <laughs>